Hey, I assume I'm live. Hey, I'm Reek. Yes. I'm playing more. Oh, sorry. I think oh, it's Web well. that wants to speak. Yeah, but first, introduce yourself. Okay, hey, I'm Reek. Reekolt. I speedrun more to chicken. S1 game. Do more games. And yes. that's my intro. Hey. <laughs> and I have an important announcement for the schedule. So, you might remember we had an incentive for Street Boys and that incentive got met and the game will be played after Hello Kitty. So, that's the game after, um, yeah, um, so after Mort, there is Goose, then there is Hello Kitty and then there will be Street Boys. Be there for that at about 8pm European time. And with that, start the run, have fun. Thank you. We should. I don't have problems. Mort just has a long neck. So yeah, uh, this is Mort the Chicken. Like I said, the goal is to get all uh, chicks that got stolen and uh, kidnapped by the cubes. They, they are the enemies. And I guess we can just start. It's a pretty short game, like 12-ish minutes. Let's say 13. So I'm going to start in 3, 2, 1. Let's go. So first of all, I'm going into this world and I don't have this long neck that I usually that I previously had. And I'm hatching all these eggs where with power-ups. I got the spring which allows me to go faster or jump higher, I'm sorry. And the magnet that allows me to be a chick magnet, just like Mort. Which is really good because chicks are the main power-up. And that was the first level already. There are 16 levels and then two bosses for whatever reason. And the first uh, speed uh, strategy you saw me do is like uh, blast out of these walls. And I don't know why it works, but you just get blasted out. And that's a really good boost to start your, your day with. And the other really important speed strat you can do without is that if you hold R1, you run. You generally don't really let go of R1, but it's really important. Welcome to Hollywood. <laughs> it's probably also apparent that everything is a cube in this game. Maybe outside of like Mort and the chicks and also difficult jump. I got it. Heck yeah. Everything is like a block. I mean, it's you're in block world and you j jump down a well. And all the enemies are blocks, but it's literally just an excuse to make the game less challenging. Like polygons. If you're into game design, you know how it works. And this game is laggy sometimes. This is a late 2000, a late, late PS2 game. PS1, I'm sorry. PlayStation 1. 2000s. This is not an excuse. Spyro was amazing. And you got time for a quick donation. Yeah, do it. Infinity Gene donates $5 and says, back again with another $5 donation here. Best of luck with the Mort Run record. Thank you very much for your generous donation. Thank you. So after every uh, getting every chick, I need to go back to the start of the level. So I'm going in circles, basically. Welcome to Cathedral. This is the, one of the harder levels at the start of the game. Because it's so laggy, so I do need to uh, watch my camera a little bit. Go up, doing an early jump here, and made it. There are two uh, ways of attacks. One of them is just talking the floor. However, if you do that in the air, then you will do a drill spin. You will see that later. Okay, camera. And the other one is using my uh, my hair, if you can call it hair, I don't know the word for it. But using that as a whip, which is interesting. And this stage is Pyramid, and I recently, like this week, I found some new straps for it, which definitely makes it faster. It's a little bit more risky, a little bit more reset heavy. But yeah, I feel, I feel confident, and I hope you, you do too. Just being a chick magnet helps here. Getting that, getting that. If I press L1, 
Mortis going into whistle mode, which I didn't know uh, chickens could whistle. That's nice. You also saw at the end that it, it checks all the coins that I had. So I, I do want to watch out with how many coins I, I grab. Because every coin is like a few frames wasted at the end. It doesn't matter if I get like singular coins, but those stars that you see there, they're worth 10 and they cost a lot. So preferably I'm ignoring these. Money is good. Throw some money over to ESA together. Even a Twitch Prime sub if you have it. But I'm evading picking it up. Also, this level is called Coins. It's really difficult, so I got to concentrate. That's it. Oh. Alright. I feel like you, but this is also a pretty laggy stage. And really non nice place cubes right here. Especially that one. And while this is not normally something I would do in a run, because this is a marathon run, all of my chicks are now bazookas. Heat seeking bazookas. And it does generate a little bit more lag. But it does make it a little bit safer. I love it when my chicks are heat seekers. Okay, this is not a good idea. Don't do it at all. <laughs> okay, this is officially not a world record run anymore. But whatever. I, I was on pace. I could still be on pace if I wanted to. So welcome to Ice Slide. There's nothing too much here other than really, really serious music right here. It's really serious. Oh yeah, shout out to the music in this game. It's... Yeah, it's something. It's fun to listen to while playing this game, but outside of that. The developers for this game is, cr is Ant Now Entertainment. They only made one game, this game. But the designer for it, he had a helping hand in Echo the Dolphin. And for the publisher, you just need to Google Crave Entertainment, I guess. Oh hey, uh, this is Islands, and there are some actual speed straps in here. So that corkscrew that I told you about, not only is it an attack, it also gives you a little bit more height, which I, well not per se there, but which I definitely need, also not per se here, I'm doing a great job so far. Getting over this wall again after getting that chick. So I now got all the chicks going back into here. And now that we're in islands... Oh no, I'll do it after this stage. This is... Not that good of a stage, so I'm just breaking some power. So as Weba has anything to say, we can do so. I always have something to say. Well, oh, we're waiting for new donations. Maybe we need a little incentive. For example... Uh, HyperX, our sponsor, is also providing us with some amazing prizes. For example, uh, <clears throat> an RGB mouse pad. Have you ever heard of that, something like that? I, I did. You did? Well, I haven't, but it sounds fancy and probably looks cool. Or a nice new headset. If you donate $25 during this marathon, you are automatically in for the headset. We have actually three of them. So I want, uh, they are all wireless and one of them is even compatible with the PS4. So even on your couch, while staying safe, you can have a nice headset on. Play something on the PlayStation. I mean, Final Fantasy VII Remake just came out. Why not that? And they did then, indeed. Actually... Thank you. So currently in Space Bridge, there are only six chicks in here. Gotta be really carefully not getting that star. And I'm going to ruin this game for you right now. With every chick that I pick up, whenever I pick them up, they say, Hey Mort! So, just keep listening to that. 
Oh, this is chicks. This is one of the biggest level, biggest levels in terms of how many chicks you need. 36. And you can only hold like 12 chicks at a time. So I gotta plan my uh, visits accordingly or my pickups. So I'm full again. And the chick magnet definitely helps here. Music is also amazing here. Sounds like an underground hip hop rap scene, but instead of rappers, it's chickens. Unfortunately, I got a lot of coins, but there's no way to not get those coins. We'll be over a little bit. Fun fact, there are only 151 chicks in this game. So this is the gardens. Pretty big stage. I don't know how many chicks there are in here. Ten of them, okay. And then this egg sometimes doesn't even spawn. That's why I'm going all the way to the, the other side. Because I saw it, it wasn't there. Wonderful game. Sometimes the enemies don't even don't even spawn. And if they do spawn, you can kill them. And if you kill them, they get back in like three seconds or so. They do not give you any time to make use of your achievement of killing an enemy. Oh. Can I jump from the tree? Ah, unfortunately. So normally I jump from the tree all the way up there. But now I'm just taking the long way around. And I was fairly consistent with that as well. So maybe something else. But the current world record holder is Joester. He got that record like last week or so. After I beat the record four days before him. Joester, while well, he doesn't play too much, he is a beast in the game. And when I get it, or if I get it again, probably it's probably a question of when. He'll need like four, maybe five days and an hour of attempts to do it. He is that good. But no nothing to say like about our skill, it's just we're pretty evenly matched. It's just he's like way more consistent. As for me, I found a lot of straps in the in the time that I played. Like th just these little things, launches that you can interrupt so you don't waste too much time in the air. And this is the last stage. So we're almost done. Two more bosses to kill. And all of a sudden there are bosses here. This is Block Man, I mean Pepsi Man. Uh, that, okay, that wasn't good. So I need to fire these, uh, well, Block Man colored blocks back at him. I'm just, I'm just going, going to go here, it will not be good at, otherwise. What is that? Why is he jumping? Okay, so I'm just waiting for blocks that are his color. I need to hit him with six of them. And kind of camp into this corner over here. But he's not really my friend right now. There we go. And then finally... The final boss of the game. This is Cube Face. Which is also a giant square. For whatever reason, we're hitting him with dice. Well, I guess they're, they're square, so... That makes the game way easier. One more, and time is coming up. One more hit, there we go. There is a glitch where it can actually be stuck inside of him. Time. Double hitting him. And that was Mort. On my clock it says 12.51. The, the my current time is... I forgot, 12.05, the world record is a really, really high 12 flat. So the next time needs to be in the range of 11 minutes, 11.59. Well, thank you for this amazing run. And, well, maybe I do get hit that world record. When I yeah, maybe. Yeah. Maybe. I mean, since we do have a little bit of time... Do you like jokes? I bet we all like jokes. Okay. 
In that case, I'm going to the options and the cheat screen. I'm not really going to cheat, don't worry about that. But... How much do you like jokes? Well... I like my jokes. Okay, yeah, have, fresh. have fun. Uh... Okay, that's not the code. Why did the chicken cross the road halfway? She wanted to lay it on the line. <laughs> Which day of the week do chickens hate most? Fry day. Oh. What do you call a chicken with a disability? Handicap. <laughs> what do you call a chicken who got too close to a nuclear, nuclear plant? plant? Atomic cluck. <laughs> Why did the rooster stay outside during the blizzard? It was oh my god. I'm, I'm sorry. Which chicken is at the top of the pecking order? Attila the hen. <laughs> Why does a chicken coop have two doors? With four doors. That wasn't actually sedan. too bad. <laughs> Why did the chicken cross the playground? It wanted to get to the other slide. <laughs> Why did the chicken cross the internet? It wanted to get to the other site. <laughs> what do you call a rooster who wakes you up? An alarm cluck. <laughs> what does an alarm cluck say? Tick tock a doodle doo. <laughs> I think that's it. What do you call a crazy no. chicken? A cuckoo cluck. <laughs> okay, that's it. <laughs> there are four more. But I'm not four going four. to show them here. We don't have the time for that, unfortunately. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. So, uh, I do know that next up is going to be Untitled Goose Game. So oh, yes. Be ready for we that. Are done with the, we are done with the nice animals. Now the evil ones come. So enjoy Untitled Goose Game by Tesselfoot. And he's actually doing reverse area order. I have no idea how that's supposed to work. But we will see very, very soon. Just after the ad break and the intermissions. Stay tuned.